TV I get 2020. So much abuse. 2020. If you haven't worked 20. it out, Pete is basically saying I play that lit far too much, which I probably do, and so now he's playing it loads to annoy me back. <laughs> Hence the reason I threw hey, a man, spectrum at it him. It worked really through. well. It, listen, it worked really well. It perfect, what can it I say? Perfectly in anyway. there. You made the day, the first groove of the day. The man. groove of the day. So what is this? 2020. Yeah. Welcome to Anderson's Feed. My name is Pete. And my name is Lee. Because in case you don't know. In case you don't know. And you can subscribe to this channel if you like guitars and stuff. Yeah. And if you like drums and keyboards, hey, we have other channels that you might like to yes, subscribe please do. to too. So yes, in 1985. How old were you in 1985? Yes. Were you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, right about right about there, yeah. Yeah. So I probably I nine. Was, were you? I was 13 in 1995. But Paul Reed Smith, yeah. he, was, uh, he was in his 20s by then. And, a, and a, I must admit, a, in a sort of an inspirational story, you know, I kind of like people that just have a vision and they put it all on the line and they gamble everything yeah. and they borrow money and they da 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 he, got, he went around to friends and, and asked them for money yeah. to do this thing, didn't he? And he Respect, started man. the PRS guitar business. Yeah. Um, and... I think it's fair to say of you know all the uh, modern guitar brands, it's probably the most successful, or certainly one of the most successful. Um, and yeah. 2020, he's uh, celebrating his 35th anniversary of making guitars. Yeah, congratulations. Because yeah. that's a that's a that's a achievement. He in is guitar a industry. proper character. Yeah, but you I know, think you have to be. I think there's not many. You know, when you look at all the other brands, Fender, Gibson, ESP, Ibanez, all this, there's not really a person. That you that's correct that you go no yep. but paul's there he puts paul's himself there. out there love him or hate him or whatever yeah. i think he's very funny he's a dude uh, he's a dude yeah. and he's a he pushes visionary all the time all the time no matter what he discovers about making electric guitars he's always pushing to yeah. see and i you know what i admire him for that because much as i love an old strat or an old les paul I also love the fact that whatever he does, he's never, he's always like going, what's the next improvement, the next improvement? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so Tool, there Tools are, in the toolbox, you need it all. There are four celebratory, is that the right word? Celebratory guitars. Come on. To celebrate the 35th <laughs> anniversary. Yeah. We have got the S2 versions, yeah. which is what we're going to focus on mainly in this video. Yeah. But just so you know, there is an SE version, so a, a Korean made, um, uh, 899 version, so a little bit not dearer than the normal SE, yeah. but with quite a lot of upgrades on it for the 35th anniversary. Yeah. And the reason we don't have one of those is because they are so heavily sold out. Yeah. I'm not sure we're ever going to get one to video. I doubt it. Because as fast as we seem to be able to go, oh yeah, we've got some more coming, we've got some more coming, the orders from you guys just yeah. straight away. I mean, for the price, well, you get you get rosewood, fingerboard, you get proper abalone, you get the TCI S pickups in it, you get the switching like there is on the, yeah. the Paul's guitar, which is the feature of the yeah. 35th anniversary. So the guitar for the money and it's the a SC beautiful colour. Is and it's a yeah. gold wrap something with the, Yeah, it's a beautiful the, gold wrap colour. Oh, Check yeah. it out on our Take website. I'll put a link in the description below. But that's yeah. not what we're using today. No. Nope. Uh, over and above these that you'll also start to see filtering through the year. There'll be a 35th anniversary of the full fat, yeah, you know, custom 24 yeah. from their core line. Yeah. Just like the whole um, custom core line, you've got tons of different color specs that you can go for, for on that. So we'll only probably list them on our website as they arrive and we photograph them and everything. Yeah. If you're feeling really flushed, Oosh. there is a dragon. There's a 35th anniversary dragon. Which you can grand. see, yeah, 15 grand and uh, <laughs> one already pre sold from Anderson's. So we're getting three. It's an amazing three, three. guitar. Um, can we have three beers for the sawmill, please? Three. Uh, one's already <laughs> sold, so there's two, two left. Um, and you can see a little video of that from our NAM trip. Did you still like, run away with it? Didn't I you? did, yeah. So it's somewhere yeah. around. <laughs> but so the ones that we've got today are S2. Yeah. S2 are made in America, made in Maryland. Maryland? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I don't know if I pronounced that properly. Maryland. 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 Ma Maryland. It's like saying uh, 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 Shropshire yes. Shropshire or, or Gloucestershire. L Leicester. Even though it's, it's spelt Gloucestershire. Because it should be a shire. Because it used to be a shire. It's home of the hobbits. And I think people just get too, bo too lazy to say... Anyway, maybe they were drunk. Maybe that's probably. Well, so S2, yeah, full fat American, but um, not as blingy as a core line. So give us the 
What have we got here, Mr. Well, we've got P. mahogany uh, back, so the body is mahogany, the neck is mahogany. It's a flamed maple top on here. Um, Proper top, no so veneers not, not on a, these. Not a veneer, veneers on the on the um, on the S two. S E. S E. Sorry, yeah. It's yeah. It's almost like Nam still got me somehow. <laughs> you got the molded uh, trim on here. You got the AT five fifteen pickups. Rosewood boards, proper inlays, the old school inlays there. You've got the PRS locking um, tuners on there, and you've got this little funky 35th anniversary logo. Now, the other way that these stands out. Can I just, you, 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 you said it, but you said it so fast. 85, 85 15. 15 so they are, they are the, in 2015, he took the original pickups that were yes. used in 1985 yes, and kind that's, of that's right. gave them like a, 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 a a, an, an update so that actually that was its 30 because of course 20 yeah that was its 30th 20. anniversary yeah. so it's the pickups from what would have previously only been available in like those you know in like or what were designed sorry for the 30th anniversary yeah. range yeah so the 85 15 985 to 2015 so probably most most authentic pickup from the from the back from the, the day. day yes and then so the and the what really stands out on these 35th anniversary models are these two little switches here, which allows you to split the hamburgers. So go hamburger or single yeah. boil. And the three-way selector, bow, volume and tone. I did Lovely. all my opening jam. The first solo I took, I single coil or the split neck pickup. Oh, did you? And the second solo I just did with the, the fat. Yeah. And I, there's a certain thing about Pori Smith guitars that with a little bit of gain on them, they they love to go into that beautiful harmonic feedback. Don't yeah, that's they? like a, it, it wants to go. Yeah, not you don't need sing. to have loud volume. It, they just want to sing. Yeah. Um, but Pete, you take oh, us. Oh, you well, 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 I can I can just just quickly demonstrate if you're on the on the neck pickup. I think you should. Uh, Full fat. Yeah. So split. I'm just using the tip of my nail there. Are you? It's a, it's a lot of the cool thing. Um, I'm, I'm going to hand it sorry. to Paul. Paul, definitely. Tone. Of all the guys out there tweaking pickups and stuff, yeah. he's the one where generally I think he's got the split humbucker. Because he plays. He, when he, you, we've seen it before. He takes mm. it out, plugs plug, it in, and it turns it up really loud, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And then he'll, he'll go, he'll really t like go. Anyway, so middle position is the is the cool one because you can go. Oh, I see. You can go, so that's on my pole. I do that a lot. So you go like you can split one, the back one, one in humbucker, but one in split mode. Yeah. Or the other way around, right? Split at the back, mm. full fat at the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to see our HR department putting a bullying complaint. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's relentless. It's just relentless. Emily, Emily, Pete is bullying me in the videos with licks. <laughs> That's, I like to see how that turns out for yeah. you. Okay, so we go back to the, on the back pickup, so. I mean, that's just punching. The so there's your split. Yeah. Of any of you who ask, um, straight into the amp, the Victor GP40. 
I'll put a slur on for I love this the... pedal. I love this pedal so. I want one. It's just a little bit of that. It's almost like a piazza. Split them. I do that on, on the Paul guitar that I got. It's, you get that. There's, there's tones in, that's why I keep saying if, you're a, if you are a carpenter or any kind of builder or something, you can't just have one hammer in your toolbox or one screwdriver. There's what a useless carpenter screw. you'd be if you just had a hammer in your toolbox. <laughs> Could you uh, cut this piece of wood up? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you need some, we need some game tones, Lee. Well, let me do the... No pedals, just reverb. Oh! What are you plugged into? Well... I say no pedals, just reverb. Uh, I'll come to that at the end of the video, I think. Oh, okay. Fair, fair, um, fair enough. Yeah, so with a... Not too much distortion, but this this was kind of my first... That, that I was playing that... Uh, and then <laughs> the humbucker, about it now, yeah. aren't you? I think I think I did for the second bit. I might have stacked two pedals on top of each it's other. Working. But... It's working. It's just so fat sounding. the pedals you're using now because people have been asking okay, about this. So this is most of the time and I think I've done this in a couple of videos recently so sorry if I'm repeating myself. Most of the time my go-to drive sound is just the left hand side of the Dane so that's a you know so not too much. <laughs> I've probably got a bit too much reverb on here. <laughs> Uh, and then I've, <laughs> got, I've got two choices here. I can either use the boost side of the Dane to sort of go. <laughs> or oh. what I'll typically do probably more because it pushes the mid range a bit more is the very thing. Mm. So. So that's without the very thing. With. So it just gives a bit more saturation and a bit more sustain. A bit more saturation. Uh, and then sometimes if, I, if I'm going for those big ambient sounds, I've got a super moon reverb for like extra reverb and a GFI clockwork delay. And that kind of gets, I don't know if it's, I, I don't think I like that quite as much as the slow that's on Pete's board, but I like it, I like it enough to, you know, keep using Whoa, it. Somebody um, just needs to have a slow then. A so, slow. man, the, they sound good though, don't so they? So yeah, I mean, do you, have you got, what, what gain have you got on yours? I'll just have, I'll have a little bit of, um, I'll have some Dane, so clean. <laughs> I 
the slur. Mm. And I, I feel like that is for me, I'll just go on the back pickup for it. And then if I, I've got a, a fat general Thorpe effect, which is like a compressor, but I use it kind of for boost as well. Right. And just a bit more. And then I got the, I've got the Durpal, which I use into the Dane. What, no. do turn the Durpal on and off, but with the fan yeah, still so being it, on? You, so, that's just the, but, but if, I need to ha keep the level down a bit. No, but the so. other way around. So just turn the Durpal off and put the Dane on. Okay, so here's the Dane. So, and, and now then kick. It, It just fattens it's it up more a bit. I could it's put fattening, isn't yeah. it? Dane with and now a double. And here's funny with everything at twelve. Yeah, that's it. I know. Mean, I know. I've got the. Uh, I've got a I always warhol. feel kind of like it's almost contrived saying how much I like the Dane because obviously you know you're sitting next yeah. to me, uh, <laughs> but I genuinely, genuinely, I haven't found. I use a different distortion pedal if I want to go much heavier because I don't really, I don't, you know, I'll use something like a, a plim sole or whatever for that kind of much. Uh... Yes, but um, anyway, we're not talking about pedals here. No, you're this right. Is only we're talking about guitars. people have been asking what pedals, what pedals, what pedals. So we are yep. talking about guitars. I mean, most of the time, unless we're doing a specific pedal review uh, and using different pedals, that's typically what you will have seen us, you know, using in the videos yeah. for the last the same board. year or yeah. so, probably. Yeah. And we'll we'll let you know if we're putting something else on. Right. So let's go back to the guitars. They feel uh, yes. you don't you don't get multiple neck options on the nope. S2. It's nope. one of the reasons why they're much more affordable than the core line, because yep. there's less options. So you've just got your standard kind of PRS. Um, slim, nicely slim. Yeah. It's almost like a, a strat C shape time I, I would, I would say it's more, you know, it's probably, uh, it's so difficult, isn't it? It's a, it's a slim version of their neck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's like almost like a 60s taper yeah. Les Paul kind yeah. of neck, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Maybe just a smidgen wider. Smishon. But but very comfortable feeling. Mm -hmm. Lacquered on the back. Um, mm -hmm. So not the same feel as a Strat at all. You know, much but it's not a Strat. It's not a Telly. It's not a Gibson. No, I know. Just, you need, I'm trying you need to have them all. <laughs> I always try and just sort of go, well, if you've played something else, what would you think? It's a, got a... Uh, if you don't know, again, one of the things that Paul has done with his guitars, or most of his guitars, right from day one, is the scale length sits in between a traditional Fender and a traditional uh, Gibson yeah. um, uh, headstock. Uh, <laughs> a traditional Fender and a traditional Gibson scale length, and the headstock angle is not as far back as uh, a Les Paul would be. Hence the reason why you tend not to get that sort of G-string kind of stickage that you might Stick be used to. You on, can use uh, some a nut pull. sauce or nut loop. I don't know. It's, that's what it's called because this yeah. is a nut and it's loop or sauce. So put on the, obviously the whole S2 line, if you're looking at that going, oh, that sounds nice. The S2 line makes tons of, you know, you've got um, single cuts and custom 22s, custom 24s. Yeah. You've got some proprietary mm -hmm. shapes like Myra's and uh, Starla's and uh, yeah, Vela's so, but, yeah. and stuff. But for the Chris. 35th anniversary, yeah, 35th anniversary, it's just the custom yeah. 24, which is which is the original PRS and guitar. It's worth considering getting one of these just because of this. Yeah. Because unless you get a Paul's guitar, then you won't get this on anything yeah. else. The interestingly as well, again, another sort of different features. So obviously on the full, uh, custom core line, you get you get an arched, a, a proper arched sort of cut, if you like, uh, yeah. rounded sort of um, top on the guitar. The S2s is, um, I think they called it beveled, but essentially it's kind of flat on the top. Then you've got this nice kind of um, sort of shim away to the edge, Sim and away. then on the SE, it's more like this, but with a less pronounced 
kind of curve around the yeah. outside. And the SE has got a binding because yes, it's a the veneer, veneer yeah. top. So anyway, I think we don't have to say anything else. There's a link below for these guitars. Could we just I put on screen you've... all the different colours that are available? Because yeah, we can we, do we've that. We've got four here seven today, colors. but there are more. I think there's seven um, colours in total. But they come with uh, really nice gig bags, mm -hmm. uh, like better than you'd get with the SE model gig bags. Um, beautifully set up straight out the box. Oh, these are straight out. I've literally All opened up the boxes. Just individual today. serial numbers, you know, like as in handwritten serial numbers. If you like these, I've got 19, because that's the year this would have been made, 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, and the serial number is 32040915. And this is uh, 520413. 67 and I'm gonna the final jam I'll play it on the other one. So this one is uh, uh, S2. Should they not all start S2? Oh, I apologize. Yeah, that doesn't oh, say 32. S2. That says S2. S2. I do apologize. I thought it, it says 52. Didn't yeah, I? so did I. So I, 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 it says S2040915 and over here it says S2041380. Uh, and this is 040939. Uh, but who knows? I mean, they're pretty consistent, these, so it shouldn't really matter what serial number you get. Um, well, you've like touched that, that one. I like that red one. I don't normally like, like, Larry Red guitars, but that looks cool. Yeah, I like that one and this one. The sunburst is lovely on that, or whatever burst it is. Let's go atmospheric, Mr. Pete. Let's do it, What man. do you guys think? Yeah. 35th anniversary. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. How quickly has time flown? Absolutely. Um, I'm not even 35. I can't believe it. I was minus four when these came out. <laughs> I wish. Um, <laughs> Paul, apparently Paul is going to carry on working till he's 126. He's trying to invent a TCI version of his brain and heart to keep him going. So you can split it. Uh, yeah. And you can have uh, both, both at the same time or the left or the right and side. And I hope he does. <laughs> yeah, I hope he does. He's a very nice chap. I always yeah. enjoy ta uh, yes. spending time with Thank him. Thank you for watching, guys. Links are below. Uh, please subscribe and hit the we bell. We haven't told you how much these are. Oh, they are $17.99. Boom. But links are below. Peace, see you soon. Just because I'm intrigued, I'm using, uh, can you see over my shoulder on either camera here? Hopefully you can. He's plugged into the uh, NAMI. The little, the little uh, I'm using like a pedal amp. So I'm using the, the little um, Duchess V4. So it's valves in the preamp, but the, the actual power section is like a solid state section in the pedal. So into I'm using two, my yeah. normal pedal board into another pedal straight into the cab. It sounds wonderful. Yeah. Who would and you're known? hearing the cab mic'd up. We're not using any kind of ox box jiggery pogery today. Jiggery pogery! There we are. <laughs>
Can you imagine yeah, if anyway. people could put licks in the comment section? All you get is just, <laughs> you just get the lick all over. <laughs> YouTube will do that now, just when that be yeah. every post I make. You can probably, can you do that on anything? Can you do that? Can you put an audio comment no, on, on your, Facebook? On Facebook. It, you can Facebook put it. is the only thing. So please, if no, you are no. following Captain Lee on uh, Lee Anderson on. Uh, well, just literally goes. Yeah, you just, just have to play do that. If I get. If Please I get like a thousand of those now, I tell you, I'm on, genuinely, I'm leaving. On, <laughs> I'm closing the YouTube channel, I'm leaving. Don't right, close the YouTube channel, I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs>